Meet the new boss, same as the old boss. In a move that has sparked a controversy inside the House GOP caucus, newly minted Speaker Mike Johnson has offered up a continuing resolution plan that has no spending cuts and no changes to current Biden administration policy in an effort to head off a government shutdown at midnight on Friday. Needless to say, the move comes as a bitter disappointment to people who were buoyed by his election to the speakership. And now he has a caucus in rebellion with Democrats smiling in glee. So hang on, folks. We're going to get into all this in just one second. My name is Brian Trippett. I am your front porch conservative. Step on up to my electronic front porch and let's talk. If you're not a subscriber to this channel, please do me a favor before we get started. Please go ahead and give me a sub. Also, while you're at it, give me a thumbs up, a comment below, a bell for notification, and share the video around. I'll take all the help I can get. As I've always said, this is a small little concern. We like to make a big going concern. But anyway, let's get to our story of the day. Mike Johnson has absolutely disappointed conservatives on Capitol Hill and all across the country with his proposed plan to avoid a government shutdown at midnight on Friday. So let's get into the story from Breitbart and get some commentary on this whole thing. We start with the following. Headline. Santa Claus comes early for the swamp. McConnell, Schumer publicly backed Mike Johnson's government funding plan. Article written by Bradley J. We read the following. The House is under new management, but is operating under business as usual as it prepares to pass a continuing resolution, CR, that once again extends spending levels and policies pushed through by then Speaker Nancy Pelosi in last December's lame duck session. Speaker Mike Johnson, Republican Louisiana, is moving a laddered CR that extends current spending levels for agriculture, energy and water, military construction, VA and transportation HUD spending bills through January 19th, with the remaining eight bills extended through February the 2nd. Government funding expires at midnight on Friday, November 17th. Senate Majority Leader Chuck Schumer took to the floor Monday afternoon to say he is pleased with Speaker Johnson for choosing not to pursue spending cuts or policy riders in the spending package, indicating he would support the approach. Quote, House Republicans have produced a responsible measure, Schumer said. Senate Minority Leader Mitch McConnell, Republican Kentucky, followed Schumer on the floor, expressing his support. The Senate earlier had been planning a procedural vote for Monday night to ready shell legislation that will include the CR. That vote was tabled while the Schumer-led Senate warming to Johnson's package. Oh, okay, phrasing. Anyway, the House is likely to send over its CR on Tuesday after a floor vote. However, Rules Committee Chairman Tom Cole acknowledged Monday afternoon there are discussions of moving the CR through the House by suspension of the rules. Under suspension, legislation needs the support of two-thirds of the House, a higher bar for passage, but can advance much more quickly than by adhering to regular order and its accompanying parliamentary hurdles. Consideration of this approach suggests broad support from the House. Okay, let's get into this. One of the reasons, among many, that Kevin McCarthy was bounced out of the speakership was by going along with a spending plan that absolutely had nothing to do with stated Republican goals. In other words, the reduction of spending, the changing of policy. Hence, Mike Johnson was put into the speakership. And he was put in with much fanfare and much hope. It was the hope that he would be strong enough and have the willingness to fight for the things that the Republicans say that they want to do. But this proposal does nothing toward that. It is an absolute disappointment. And 
how many times does the can have to get kicked down the road before finally someone says enough? But let's read a little bit further into this article because that's going to be the question that gets asked. Yet Johnson is already taking heat for pushing a spending bill that requires help from Democrats for passage and punts a fight on Biden's policies until next year. In announcing his plan, Johnson said it was necessary to, quote, place House Republicans in the best position to fight for conservative victories. The House is considering individually the 12 appropriations bills. Okay, I'm sorry. I, I can't do this. I cannot read that and not say something about it. And I'm what I'm going to say is not coming from a happy man. Necessary to place House Republicans in the best position to fight for conservative victories. Well, Speaker Johnson, exactly when do you plan on fighting? Is it going to be in January? Is it going to be in February? When are you planning on fighting? Because this is what the American people are waiting for. Republicans and sane Democrats that realize that this level of spending cannot go on. This is madness. You are doing nothing to touch the deals that Nancy Pelosi put in place last year. You're doing nothing to address the mistakes that were made with the debt ceiling fight back in April. Thank you, Kevin McCarthy. You're doing nothing to touch any of this. So just when exactly do you plan on putting House Republicans in the best position to fight for conservative victories? Because I don't see it. And for the record, so do a whole lot of other people, including members of your own caucus, which we will get to in a moment. This is an absolute disappointment. Now, you're human. You're a politician. I do not expect you to do everything perfectly to my standard. But I do expect you to actually fight. And I'll ask the question again, Speaker Johnson, just when the hell do you plan on fighting? When? When does the House Republican Caucus grow a spine and a set of stones and actually looks at Chuck Schumer and Hakeem Jeffries and says, no, no, this stops here. If it costs us our seats, if it costs us our majority, we are going to change the way Washington does things. We have a situation right now where we have a $2 trillion annual budget deficit, not debt just the annual deficit. We have interest on the debt that is now eclipsing $1 trillion. This situation is unsustainable. So, sir, I'm going to ask you the question again. Just when the hell do you plan on fighting? Because it seems to me right now would be a real good time for you to do it. Yet you're planning on punting this thing in the next year and everything that goes with it. Every bad policy, every problem on the southern border, everything that's going wrong, you're just letting it go on in the next year. With no indication, by the way, that you've got a plan for January and February. Now, I don't expect you to ring me up on the phone and say, hey, front porch, don't worry, I got this thing covered, here's what I'm going to do. But at least give somebody some idea you know what you're doing and there's an end game here. If you're setting this up for a fight, Next year, okay, fine, but by God, you better do it. But frankly, I'm not convinced you're going to. You're not willing to fight right now. So why should I believe you're going to fight in January or February or at any point going forward? But I'm not the only one that feels this way. I'd like to play you some quotes from a couple of people who are already opposed to this. Take a listen. We've got a quote from Matt Gates, the leader of the rebels in the House. folks. Take a listen to what he's got to say. House Speaker Johnson has been on the job for a few weeks, and government funding runs out in a few days. So right now, he's asking for support for a CR or continuing resolution. Now, we oppose continuing resolutions. Each agency of government should get itemized review. Spending cannot be cut if we advance all of the government's various and sundry programs all at once, for the same duration of time. So Speaker Johnson's latter CR fails to meet the mark in this respect. Okay, and for the record, lest you think that Matt Gates is one of those people that's just, you know, contrary just for the sake of being contrary, he's not alone in this. Let me play you a quote by Rep Representative Chip Roy of Texas. Folks, 
take a listen to this as well. So, so tell us why yeah. you're opposed to this plan. Yeah, well, look, I, I, uh, I always start with, and, and I felt this way about Kevin, I and mean, Mike's a friend, uh, you know, I wanted to give him a little time to get all this going. I get it, it's difficult, but, you know, for the same reasons that, you know, I opposed the CR on October 1st, I opposed a CR that uh, the current speaker, Speaker Johnson, is putting forward because it continues to perpetuate the very system my, my constituents sent me here to oppose. And he's absolutely right. And again, I come back to the question, exactly when is leadership in the House Republicans caucus planning on fighting? You've got people willing to do it. Now, I will admit there are some in the House Republican caucus, and this is the comment of Representative Andy Biggs of Arizona, they hear the word shut down and they just absolutely go weak need. Folks, this fight can be won. It can be done with proper messaging and resolution of spirit, but it's not going to be done when your leader, the Speaker of the House, is looking over at Schumer and McConnell and Hakeem Jeffries and the White House and going, wink, wink, nudge, nudge, just give me a little bit to work this thing out. As I say, if I'm wrong come January, February, I will come back to this microphone and this camera and say, the front porch conservatives screwed this one up. But as it stands right now, I don't think I'm wrong. Johnson is punting this thing in the next year. As a matter of fact, he's punting it further on down the road because, like I said, if he's not willing to fight now, when is he going to? And frankly, somebody needs to stand up and start fighting because right now, we are going broker worse than we are now. Now, lest you think I'm using the English language incorrectly, I'm doing it for purpose. We're already broke. We're going to be more broke if we don't turn this thing around. So I really hope you've got a plan come January, February, Speaker Johnson, because right now, I'm not convinced. But that's what I think about it. What do you think? Please remember, as we start to wrap up this video, leave a comment below. I'd love to know what you think about all this. Give me a thumbs up on the video. Hit the bell for notifications. But more importantly, please give me a sub. I would genuinely appreciate it. My name is Brian Trippett. I am your Front Porch Conservative. And I will see you next time.